Good day, this is A.O. Victor on the line and today I'm talking about part three on how to keep your husband as a woman. Don't forget, all we after is that you have a successful marriage and all these are principles that need to be put in place. Number one is that never allow your friends as a woman to be, to, to be close to your husband. Why? They don't need to be close to your husband. Your husband is your pri most priceless possession, priceless possession to you. So don't, don't get your friends close to your husband for no reason. There isn't any reason for that. You got to keep the boundaries. Number two, never be in a hurry in bathroom, on dressing table, on doing makeup as a woman. No, you must concentrate more on that to keep yourself more attractive for your husband. Do your fingers, do your nails, keep clean. You know, a lot of women, before they get married, they do a lot of things to, you know, to attract the guy, even when they're in a relationship, to talk the guy they are, you know, you know, to prove a point. But the moment they get married, they begin to lose guard. Some women become suddenly dirty, they wear clothes that are dirty, you know, no, you need to keep clean. You need to stay attractive to your husband even in marriage. Because you know what? When your husband goes out, there are a lot of women out there that are doing everything to get the attraction of men. So you must do all your best to keep being beautiful, being pretty as you are. Number three, listen to me. When you get married, your parents or family of friends do not have final say in your marriage. Final say in your marriage has to do between you and your husband. So be careful of bringing thought parties into your marriage. Be careful of bringing thought party into your marriage. As a woman, all you need to do is you must leave, leave your family. Don't always report to your husband. Don't always report issues in your home to your parent. It's wrong. You know, discuss with your husband and reach agreement about issue. What is my point? Leave your family, leave your friends, and cleave to your husband. This is very important. Number four, never base your love on monetary things. No, don't do that as a woman. You know, some women say, oh, um, they, they, you know, they don't give their husband sex probably because there's no, it didn't bring gift or, you know, or money. No, 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 no. Your love for your husband should be unconditional. You should love your husband at all times, irrespective of what situation it is. So it is important. So don't base your love for your husband on monetary things. So what if, what if tomorrow you earn more, you make more? So that means you're going to control your husband? No. If you want to keep your husband, never, never, never connect your marriage, your love for your husband to monetary things. Number five. Don't forget that your husband wants attention. You know, your husband wants your attention also. So be good, be a good listener. Never to be too busy to, to listen to your husband. No, never be too busy as a woman. You see, good communication is the bedrock of every happy home. So, always learn to listen to your husband. Number six. If, you are, if your idea works better than his, never compare yourself to him. Oh, never say, oh, I, I, got a I got a better idea. You know, oh, you can live without me. You know, don't, don't say that. It should be always teamwork. It should be always teamwork. Even if you have said something, you have brought an idea that brought success to the marriage. You know, don't praise yourself. Take the glory together. Take the glory together. And that's good for your husband. Number seven. Don't be too judgmental to your husband. You see, no man, no man, no man wants a nagging wife. Don't be too judgmental. Uh, you're, ju you're, just, you're judging him on this. You're judging him on that. You're saying this. You are always criticizing him. That won't help you to keep your husband. That will help your husband to be looking out. God bless you.